In this video, we are going to show you how to create the pop-up effect in Adobe After Effects. First, let's import the illustration file. To create the pop-up effect, we're going to keyframe the scale property. To keyframe a layer's scale in the timeline panel, select the layer, press S, to display the scale property. Click the stopwatch icon to activate it. After Effects will create a keyframe at the current time for that scale value. After you set the initial keyframe, the keyframe navigator will appear. Move the playhead forward and add a new keyframe by clicking the diamond icon from the keyframe navigator. Let's add a total of 5 keyframes for the first layer. In After Effects, the anchor point of a layer affects how the layer behaves when you change its scale and rotate values. For example, if the anchor point is set at the center, when you change the scale value, it will look like this. But when you move the anchor point to the bottom or to the left, it will be different. So before you start animating a layer or composition, it's important to set its anchor point. Then start setting the keyframe values. After adding the keyframe values, make sure to select all keyframes and press F9 to activate Easy Ease. Easy Ease will smooth out the layer's motion. Then adjust the keyframes positions in your timeline to your liking. Now that we've created the pop-up effect for the first layer, we can copy and paste the effect to other layers. It's important that you adjust the anchor point of a layer before you paste the effect to that layer. Move the keyframes of each layer in the timeline to where you want it to start popping up. If you want a layer to pop out, simply duplicate its pop-up keyframes and rearrange the keyframes in a reverse order.
Then copy and paste the pop-out effect to other layers. And we've just created the pop-up effect in Adobe After Effects. Here's an extra tip for you. Allow some space among each layer's animation so that viewers can have enough time to read and obtain the message. But if you would prefer having all the layers popping up continuously one after another, then make sure to leave some time for viewers to receive the information before the pop-out animation starts. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We will be creating more tutorials on basic animation with Adobe After Effects. All the project files are also available for you to download on our website. Please check the description below this video for more information. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.